Paige from my channel, which used to be just Paige, but I changed it to Paige. So you can look that up. You might be able to find it. So I hope you enjoyed this video and stay tuned. So we're back and we're going to do opening our book bags and all that. So want to get to it? I would, but before we get into it, I would like to say that this video is really good for anybody from Lauren's age who's going to be going into elementary school. You know, what grades would you say your school supplies are good for? Um, at least third, second, and first. So first, second, third graders, any age category, we're doing some hand motions. Any ages between those would be good for Lauren's backpack. My backpack is good for any middle schoolers or new high schoolers. I'm going into my freshman year in high school, so yeah, that's where I would be aiming my age group of my backpack towards. So let's get started. Okay, so we have our backpacks, and I'm going to show you mine. Mine is from a Broadway musical, and I'm happy I got it because I couldn't find a book bag I like. Ta-da! And the zippers are so cute. Look at them. Look at the little zippers. <laughs> so now Paige, what's yours? My backpack is the North Face Recon. It's supposed to be a laptop bag, but it's, I think, just right for high schoolers or middle schoolers. And then I have a little puffy keychain on and here. And then this is perfect for, really like, soft. sword or first graders. Her backpack is. My backpack's good for, as I said, middle schoolers. This would be good through all through high school, all four years. Yeah. That's probably so how long I'll use it. So we're gonna go to our school supplies inside. So let's get started. Okay, we have a book bags. We are gonna go back and forth, starting with our front pocket. And I'm gonna go first. Eek. So my front pocket is kind of the wicked face and wicked on it and i'm just gonna open that and i'm gonna see what i want to show for okay so my first things i need is sticky pads i need two of them they can be naturally any color but you don't want to get them too dark or too light because then you want them just right yeah because if you write with a light one and a dark one it probably won't show up and then a dark one with a light one it probably won't show up so if you do just right like mine they'll show up with any so that's what i have first okay Ooh. so i'm gonna open my front pocket and i guess first i'll show I'll show my ID first because this is essential for any high schooler or middle schooler. Let me just make sure I'm covering everything. Um, let me just, how do I do this? Okay, I'm gonna go like this. That's my, that's my face. I'm covering up my last name and my school name and all that. But um, when you're in high school and middle school, you're gonna get an ID and you have to take care of it because it's essential for a lot of different things. So that's the first thing I'm showing. Okay, now I'm gonna show my next things. I'm just have to get them in the group that I need them in. Okay, I need four packs of tape. And I oh. probably will uh, one out before school ends because I'm really hard on tape. I like tape. I like tape too. So I, I have dark ones, but sometimes when I use them all up, I go to the store and get clear ones. So if you put them on the page, you really don't see them and it's nice to blend in. So I have Doc right now. Next. Okay, so next I'm going to show another thing that was given to me by the school. Um, I have my planner. So when you are in high school, middle school, and this year she's going to be getting a planner from her school as well. Um, I'm not going to, once again, I'm not going to show my school name or my last name, but this is what it, ours looks like this year. And then on the back it has a school map, and it's basically... Just really good um, because Notes. it's very organized, I think, exactly. on the inside. And in the back, yeah, there's like... Notes, you can take notes, you uh -huh. can take days, you take stuff, and all that nice stuff. Right? And they said for our school, there's like the periodic table of elements. They said for our school, we're also going to use it as a hall pass. So I definitely have to keep that with me every single day during class. Okay, next I have a pencil sharpener. And last year I kind 
kind of lost mine. So mine is black this year. And that is nice because I had a green one and it naturally blended in with all my school stuff. So I technically lost it. All of my school stuff is pink, blue, and purple because those are my colors I like to use because I always want different colors every year. So I got a black pencil sharpener. It's the cap can come off so I can empty it. I have a, so if my things are big or skinny. And then that's nice. So next. Um, this isn't really a school supply, but this year I'm taking two different computer classes. So I'm assuming I might need headphones a few times during the school year. So I'm just going to be keeping my headphones, which are Beats. I mean, it doesn't matter what kind of headphones you have. I just find myself, I don't use these quite often. So I think if I put them in my school bag, I can use them for computer class and maybe get more use out of them. Okay, so next I need six of the glue sticks. doesn't really matter what glue sticks you have. I have this kind. And Let me see what kind it is. All my stuff. All my school stuff is from Michaels because Michaels. I went to my, my mom actually went to Michaels and got it all and so I wasn't there. I'm just going to start putting my stuff back in and she has her So this is the last thing in my front pocket. I have my pencil pouch. I got this pencil pouch at, what's the, Office Max? Is that a school I think it's store? Office Max. Or, or Office Depot. Office Depot, Office Max, or Staples. Two. Or Staples. You could probably get this online, too. All my stuff is from Office Max. Except the book bag is from a Broadway musical when I went to... Because my dad won the Wicked Lottery. Yeah. Very fun. Uh, it's the Five Star Mead one, and I'm just gonna... I'm not gonna, like, do everything one by one that's in here. I've just got some of these markers to write in my planner. I'm I've got some right. pens... I've got these really, um, you know, everybody pencils. loves everybody loves these pencils. They're mechanical. the really they're mechanical the, pencils. They're the overpriced ones that are like really like nice. Yeah, really nice. And then I just have some highlighters. So that's all I'm going to be keeping in my pencil box this year. Okay, now I'm going to move on to my second thing. This I don't need in my desk. It's for school, but I just want to. I'm just showing it so I can get it with over it. The wet wipes for my classroom. I don't really need those for school. Just really have to bring them. You can show this too. And hand sanitizer for my school. See, and then I have Kleenexes, but they're not in here. This stuff is just to go to my classroom. So I'm just showing that, and then you're done. She's gonna be giving those things to her teacher, obviously, to donate towards the classroom. So you. Now in my back pocket, so I guess I'll show the more interesting thing first. This year we had summer homework, and uh, my summer homework was to read this book, Eleanor and Park, and annotate every single page. If you don't know what annotating is, it's basically just like highlighting and writing in the book. Um, yep, this was my summer homework this year because I took honors ELA, so we had to do this as our summer homework and they gave us a few options of books to read and I actually read this book last summer so it made it a lot easier on me. I definitely recommend that if they give you summer homework and you get to pick your book, pick one that you've already read and it'll make it go by so much easier and quicker. Okay, next I'm going to show two of my things because technically they're mostly close to the same thing. Okay. You can show all three. You don't I, want to? Okay. I'm just gonna show one right now. Or all okay. four. I have um, a 24 pack of crayons, and these are mostly for a, any grade ish, but maybe not into middle school or high school ish. But you, you could still use you could still use yeah. these in middle school. I definitely yeah. know. I had a lot of projects that involved making it very creative and colorful. I don't know for high school. This is my first year of high school, so mm -hmm. I can't tell you for that. But I do know in middle school I definitely okay. used a lot of color and yeah. supplies. Uh, basically all that I have left now is folders and notebooks. So I guess I'll just tell you the colors I got. Um, this is what my brother recommended for me to do for organizing my school supplies this year. So I got a green notebook and a green folder. Each of these are going to go towards a different class. So I can organize my stuff. And then I have a yellow notebook and a yellow folder. It's actually cool. And then an orange notebook and an orange folder. I have a purple folder and a purple notebook. And a A pinkish red reddish one. A pink notebook and like a red folder. And then there was no blue folder, so I got a white folder and a blue <laughs> notebook. 
And then last but not least, I got a black folder and a black notebook. And so I'm gonna go through the list of my stuff. Um, Willie, I had color regular color pencils last year, and I don't like them. I like the erase ones. So my mom got me a 24 pack of those, just in case if I lose a couple. I have skinny markers. I had these last year, but I didn't have big ones. <clears throat> this year, my mom remembered to get me big markers. Good job, and mom. And then. I got a cute blue folder. It came glittery. Oh, and I decorated my notebooks. Because for my birthday, I got pom pom rocks of both my notebooks. Oh, pom poms. And then I'm going to go through my pencil case. I'm just going to take out a couple of things. I have a Sharpie. Uh, erase marker, some pens, a highlighter. You definitely, she definitely is more prepared. Erasers and uh, my pencils are sharpened already. I didn't sharpen them; they came sharpened. So I'm pretty cool about that. And she's pretty cool about and that. And then I have these erasers, and then I have regular erasers. So is that all your school supplies? That's all my school supplies I have, and that's. And then I have the Kleenexes, like I said, but I don't have those on me, and. Uh, those aren't really important about my school I think before we end this video, we should both give our number one tip to survive classes. To survive, for your case, to survive elementary school, and for my case, to survive middle school. Because I'm okay, just. Okay, you're going first. You want me to go first? Yeah, I saw my stuff. Um, okay, well, my stuff's all put away, so I guess I'm going first. Uh,. I'm gonna have to think for a minute because there are so many things that I've learned being through three years of middle school. Do you know yours? Cause you finished. Okay, well, I've been only three classes in elementary school. This will be my fourth class, third grade. So I, a number one tip to do elementary school, I'm just going for all the grades in elementary school, up to fifth grade in my school. Um, I'm giving a tip, Um. Have fun. That's, that's um, a very good tip. Have fun. Um, if you feel nervous on the first day of school, um, try to find somebody that you know. In and your class. you won't be so sad. You won't have, you'll still have a friend with you, and you'll survive the first day of school. And if you're really sad on the last day of school, just be sad, because I was. Yeah, it's definitely, it's okay to be emotional. Yeah. Because you're leaving all your friends for three months. And then you get to go back with them. Yeah, the next year. Yeah. I guess uh, I have two pieces of advice. My first one is to not give up. I definitely recommend not to let the pressure of middle school, because it's a lot different from elementary school. I wouldn't let it get to you. Study hard, even if you think it's not necessary because it doesn't mean anything. People think middle school doesn't mean anything, but I think every school means something. And definitely try your hardest give it your all. It's all or nothing in school. You can't just go halfway. You have to go all the way with projects and all that. And then my second piece of advice is to not let anybody else's opinions of you get to you. If somebody thinks they don't like your hair, let them not like your hair. It doesn't matter. It's for you. Your hair is how you want it to be, you know? I'm not talking about just your hair. I'm talking about anything that people are mean to you about. Just don't let it get to you because it doesn't mean anything. Their opinion means nothing. And I have another one. If Somebody tries to make fun of you or something. This is like tagging on You mine. don't, like, talk to them. Just yeah. walk away and think you didn't even hear it. It's it's a good advice to, if somebody's rolling you, you can tell the principal, tell your principal, of course, tell your parents, they can talk to the person that did it if they have it, and tell a lunch lady if it's out there with you. Any parent that's out there with you, tell them, and they'll figure it out. Just don't bottle it all up. Yeah. Don't bottle up all your feelings. Don't keep it secret. Do not keep it secret You think? anybody. Yeah, some people think it's negative to tell authorities or tell somebody that you feel comfortable telling, but it's not a bad thing. You're not a tattletale. If something's making you uncomfortable, you can't keep that to yourself. You have to tell somebody because that's just hurting you, and you don't want to... I know school is not everybody's favorite place to be, and you don't want to make it any worse by holding in your feelings and not telling anybody how you really feel. So, definitely tell people. Okay. Bye. Make sure to subscribe. 
100 subscribers. Remember Please subscribe me? to Princess Squeaky and Queen Cameron. Remember what my sister said when we did the DIY video? We get to 100. We give, I think, two shout outs or something. Close to that, at least. I have no clue. Um, and we will do a new video that we have never done before. And we will do it. So I hope we get to 100. Close to the school stuff, but we probably won't. Into school, but I want it before you need to set ends. You need to set your subscribers a goal. So say, like, they want to hit 100 by Halloween. Mm -hmm. Try to hit 100 by Halloween. If you guys can get hit 100 by Halloween... I'll they're gonna surprised. do they're gonna do what Lauren just said. They're gonna give out shout outs, it sounds like. Yeah. Give out some so. shout outs and do a new video for you guys that's never before seen on their channel. So mm -hmm. so bye, subscribe, comment, and like. And don't forget to subscribe for us to get a hundred subscribers.